Hello, Grants High School staff and students. Thank you for tuning in. You're watching The Morning Show brought to you by Angry Jack Productions. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute the flag of the state of New Mexico and the Zia symbol of perfect friendship among united cultures. Good morning, Pirates. Today we're going to be coming to you with information on the bonfire. The bonfire will be on October 29th. From 6 to 8 will be the bonfire, and from 8 to 10 will be the dance. During all this, there will be concession and games involved. Entry fee will be $10 a couple and $6 a single. There will be online purchase. Much like the carnival, there will be a system put in place for you to purchase stuff from the concession stand and play games. You will need to buy a punch card. Punch cards can be $10 and $20. Everything will be bought online. GHS students are only allowed unless permission slip is filled out, which you can get in the front office. School rules still apply and no one is allowed on the track or field. If you have any questions, please ask Mr. Rivera in room 323 or Woods. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Gonzalez, and I'm here with Mikura. And we're going to be asking her some Halloween questions. So the first question is, when you go trick-or-treating, what candies do you hope to get? Probably to Tootsie Rolls. Those ones are pretty good. What was your favorite Halloween costume? Probably a Batman costume I had like a couple years ago. Batman's cool. Name something you wouldn't want to run into on Halloween night. Children. <laughs> What is your favorite horror character? The puppet from Saul. That one's pretty scary. If you were ever dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it and why would you do it? Only if you give me 20 bucks. Money, that's reasonable. If you were pig sacked in a scary movie, what would it be and why? Probably in Chucky. That one's a pretty good movie. And that's all the questions we have to today. Hi students, and today I'm with Christopher Chambers. And we're going to be asking him some Halloween questions. So the first one is, when you go trick-or-treating, what candy do you, you hope to get? Um, probably some Lifesaver gummies. <laughs> nice. What is your favorite Halloween costume? Um, Beast Boy. It's a cool one. Name something you wouldn't want to run into on Halloween night. Those clowns. They're pretty scary. They are scary. What is your favorite horror character? Uh, Chucky. Yeah, that one's scary. If you ever dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it, and why would you do it? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, if you got picked to act in a scary movie, what movie would it be, and why? Um, probably Chucky, just because that's my favorite Halloween movie. That's a nice one, and that's all the questions we have for today. Hello, my name is Joseph Vigil, and today I'm here with Aaron Jimenez. And today I'm going to be questioning him about the game that we played against Valencia on Thursday. The first question I'm going to ask you is, how do you think the team did against Valencia? Well, I think we did okay. I think that our offense is really starting to get rolling now with uh, Juju at quarterback. I think he was making a lot of good decisions, and he pulled off a lot of big runs. He's getting the ball out a lot quicker, so I think that's good. And our defense played well. Um, you know, obviously we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but to the end we always uh, fought hard to the last whistle, gave it everything we got. And the next question I'm going to ask you is, how do you feel you did at the game? Well, I think it doesn't really matter how a single person did at the game. I think it's how we came together and fought as a team because that's when winning truly comes is when you and your teammate both have each other's back and you're both going at it. But personally, I think I did okay. I think it was probably below average for me, but you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. But I think we had a good team effort. What is the team doing to prepare for our, the next upcoming game on Thursday against St. Pius? So we're watching a lot of film. We're really breaking it down and preparing for our, uh, our game on Thursday. Um, we're practicing hard, and that's all we can do is prepare and then show out on Thursday. So, yeah. All right, thank you. 
Hi, my name is Mitra Pino. Hi, my name is Nevaeh Tristler. This is a new concept we made for the morning show called Outfits of the Week. This is where we'll be interviewing students and staff members about their outfits and asking them to describe them for us. You could contact us through our email. And our, our Instagram, Instagram. And our room, room number. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, my name is Mitra. Hi, my name is Nevaeh. And we're here with... Robert Bassett. <laughs> and we're here to interview his outfit today. So what's your outfit like today? Like, how would you describe how you got up this morning and picked this out? Because you look very good today. Uh, work attire, Monday. Black shoes, black pants, black belt. <laughs> Monday. White shirt, Monday. 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 Love that. That's just straight to the point. Monday. Monday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mitra Pino. Hi, my name is Vera Chesler. And we're here with John Paul Miller. Tell us about your outfit. Um, I just wear the same jacket. Mm, same jacket. Just nothing special about your shoes, your jeans, just the fact that you wear the same jacket? Yep. Fair enough. Main character. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs>